Hey guys, it's Hero. I found a way to quickly switch between two versions of Bannerlord. Since Bannerlord is in beta, you can choose to play an older version or the Bleeding Edge version. One downside to this is when you select a different version, Steam downloads the differing files for that version. That can be several gigabytes in size. For some of us, that takes just a few minutes to download and install so just a minor inconvenience. But not everyone is blessed with fast internet, and if they want to test a mod in an old version of the game, they may be waiting a while to play. This topic was raised in the Discord. I was given an old forum link by Strat Gaming. In that forum, Tarso and Hawk BS were discussing how this could be done, but for a different game. After some testing, I found a way that may satisfy anyone wanting to use this. It will require only making a copy of the game directory and a Steam config file. I'm going to start with the latest beta branch. At the recording of this video, that's 1.6.4. I'll make a copy of the Bannerlord directory. For me, that's located here. Before starting, you'll need to make sure that you have enough disk space for a second copy of the game. Right-click, copy. Right-click, paste. This may take a while. Once it's done, you'll have two Bannerlord directories. I've already done this. We also need to make a copy of a Steam config file. Let's go up one directory. Here should be a list of files that begin with app manifest. You will have one of these for each game you have installed through Steam. We want to find the one that looks like this. 261550. Let's make sure we have the right one. Right click and open with notepad. We should see a line, name, mount and blade to Bannerlord. If you don't, double check that the file name is exactly the same as this. Now that we confirmed we have the correct file, make a copy of the file. Right click, copy, right click, paste. Change the name of the copy to this, basically append.164 to the end. This will let us know at a glance this file is for version 1.6.4. You may see a message like this, just click OK. Open Steam and go to the beta list, like this, and select the older beta you want to use for your mods. I'll use 1.6.0 for this example. This is another step that could take a while, but if you do this whole process correctly, you shouldn't have to download this older version again. Once it's done, exit Steam. Make sure it's closed and not just minimized to the system tray. It's important that it's closed completely. We need to go back into the common directory and rename the main Bannerlord folder to Bannerlord-160. This will let us know which version this is at a glance. And while we're here, rename the copy to the original name. Simply remove the dash copy from the name. Your folders should look like this. If you have other games installed, there will be more folders here. Let's go up one directory. When we installed the older beta, it modified the app manifest file. We need to open that file and change one line. Right click and open with notepad. The line that starts with install dir. We need to change the name in quotes to the directory we just renamed. In my case, bannerlord-160. This just tells Steam which directory the game is installed in. Then save the file. Now rename this file. Just append .160 to the end. Then rename the .164 file by removing the .164. Right now, it's all set up to run beta 1.6.4. Let's test this out. Launch Steam, open Bannerlord. Here we can see we're using version 1.6.4. Launch the game and load a 1.6.4 save just to make sure it all works. After testing that, let's see how we can switch to version 1.6.0. We need to close the game and Steam completely. Again, make sure it's not just minimized to the system tray. 
Now all we have to do is rename the two app manifest file names. Change the main one by appending .164 to the end. Then remove the .160 from the end of the other. That's it. Launch Steam, Library, Bannerlord, Play. You can see 160 here. Play. Let it load and test a save from 160. So from now on, to switch versions, you should close Steam completely. Rename the main app manifest to something different. I just append the version to the end of the name. Rename the other app manifest by removing the appended version from the end. Open Steam and start the game as usual. If you get confused by which version is which, open the file and scroll down to the bottom. The version will be listed there. Now you'll be able to test new features and quickly switch back to a version that works with your favorite mods. That's it. If I missed anything or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Peace out.